Hi, this is Dr. Shrikant from Team MDS Conquer. I'm just going to give a brief glance of what you need to do when you are reading the subject oral radiology. So coming to oral radiology, so oral radiology, according to me, I can consider this as one of the easiest, simplest and shortest subject among the list of the subjects you prepare for entrance exam. So coming to the NEAT blueprint, uh, so integrated NEAT has given a decent blueprint in which along with oral medicine, the radiology is going to carry 14. So I'm going to allocate seven to eight marks for radiology in the NEAT. And if you're planning for INICET, so it has a similar weightage of around eight to 10 scoring, in and around eight to 10 scoring. Maybe radiology may be integrated with uh, any of the case based questions or any of the diagram based questions where they are going to give you radiographic features and they may ask you to interrupt the x-ray. So this is all about the blueprint. So it has a decent weightage and I strongly recommend at least a 40 hours of preparation for this particular subject. Okay, so 40 hours of preparation has to be done. And of course, as I already said, radiographic features are the things which you have to focus means uh, you have a special topics in oral radiology called as radiographic diagnosis okay in which radiographical features will be there so it may be integrated in most of the situations with oral medicine in oral path it can be integrated you pedo they can ask you questions related to the radiographic features surgery has lots of important for radiology similarly your endo radiographic uh, diagnosis of endo or radiographic uh, findings in the case of, of your operative dentistry that is your caries so everything has a greater importance so the radiographic features are one of the strong findings that every dental clinician has to know of course you are well well familiar about this so similarly most of the questions can be integrated with radiology and finally i can conclude that radiology is a very 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 important subject and of course if you are good you can finish it as fast as possible so coming to uh, the topics that you need to cover in uh, radiology so i want to divide the topics into two parts one category are very very important which i'm going to mark with red so such category is your radiation physics your radiation biology, your uh, projection geometry and intraoral radiographic techniques, your X-ray films, your processing and uh, their errors, your extraoral radiographic and utmost important thing is going to be your radiographic diagnosis. Okay. And of course, because nowadays exams are being drifted and moving towards the advances, right? So advances part, uh, I want to talk about all these uh, radiographic advances like your MRI, CBCT, your CT scans, of course, your uh, COVID-19, again, your CT scan is very important, your corrides and all these are going to be a part of your medical radiology, even radiotherapy for few of the carcinomas, radiotherapy, what type of radiotherapy is given, whether it is teletherapy, that is whether it's brachytherapy, okay, so there are many types of radiotherapy techniques which are a part of your medicine carcinoma treatment one part of carcinoma treatment is radiotherapy right so that radiotherapy part is also important in examination point of view so keeping in mind the upcoming trends the trends in the examination like if you see the trend in the exam from uh, uh, previous exams to the 2020 or 2021 so the lo lots of questions moving on the things which are commonly used in your clinical scenario they're asking so if you come to such clinical scenario i strongly recommend to add one more star to the topics like projection geometry i want to add one more star your radiographic films what is happening processing errors errors and processing techniques of course your extra oral radiography which technique has to be given for which particular condition radiographic diagnosis is very important and of course I'll, I'll i'll keep more stars for this advanced radiology and medical related radiology where your mcq books are less filled with mcqs related to this that's what i'm i'm always telling like right now you cannot only uh, rely on the mcq books to uh, end up with a decent rank because advanced updates advanced things which are going right now in the clinical scenario most of the mcq books are missing it okay so uh, uh, i want you guys to add such strong topics and make you make, make make your concept strong that's going to help you to survive in dentistry and second thing this is going to help you in the examination hall also 
right so these are the contents that you have to cover and of course uh, the reference book like whenever you want reference the first source of reference book should be white and for all of us so, like whatever the book you have read in your final year that's okay you can keep it as a reading book whenever you want you can go back and read that's not an issue but whenever you want to find a reference to something whenever you want to have a clarity over something that can be a controversial question that can be a, a key correction in in the normal mcq books whatever you're doing make sure you try to go with white and farrow only okay so and of course as i already said there was like somewhere around like 20 25 odd pages of synopsis well organized synopsis which is prepared from white and farrow straight away from your power play book volume 3 so your power play book volume 3 has radiology and uh, it has mcqs also integrated with oral medicine and oral path somewhere around 850 mcqs are there with lots of diagrams lots of radiographic diagrams apart from that you have 25 pages of synopsis of oral radiology which has to be done thoroughly very very important synopsis okay right so that's all about uh, i want to talk about the pp books so 850 mcqs okay uh, which are integrated with oral path and oral medicine and followed by 25 pages or 20 to 25 pages or synopsis of oral radiology prepared from white and farrow including tables flow charts all important aspects were condensed and included in this so it is mandatory that you have to do this top to bottom clear right so coming to the sequence of things what you have to do uh, if you are a student of mds conquer the first thing i, I want to stress on is your smart videos okay so first thing you have to do your smart videos you have a decent number of uh, 10 to 15 smart videos and further i'm going to update you as many smart videos as possible covering the radiographic features uh, like predicting there will be more radiographical features integrated with the case based or radiographical features as a diagram based questions in the in the neat or inicet so we'll try to uh, upload as number as many number of videos as possible but make sure you try to finish all the video contents that are available on the website so make sure the first level of reading should be the video content with the pp books 25 pages content <laughs> and whatever the little synopsis that is available in your normal mcq books whatever mcq books you're doing do the synopsis part so once you're done with this and once your core concepts are strong and once you are confident then i want you guys to go to the mcq spot and do it okay you do whatever mcq book you have whichever preferable mcq book you want to follow you do the mcqs for the particular topic from the mcq book along with the explanation part so once you're done with that evening you can attend uh, the activity on the group uh, where where we are going to have some sort of uh, textbook reading updated contents of the textbook reading we'll have some con contents of updated contents of the textbook reading in the evening activity and followed by you can plan your uh, topic specific exam okay so this is what the sequence that you have to follow i'm just repeating the sequence again first i want you guys to do your smart video content with the synopsis of the mcq book or with the 25 pages synopsis of the pp book content then solve mcqs with explanations from any of the book then we'll have an activity okay every day we'll have a 50, 30 to 40 minutes activity on the group with some sort of textbook reading okay some some mcqs uh, recent mcqs and everything revision and followed by i want you guys to do the topic specific video or uh, topic specific exam of that particular subject right so this is what the brief outline of radiology open radiology is simple easy and i hope you'll do it at your best done for now signing off dr shrikanth from team mds conquer Thank you.